For today's quiz, I have this waiter's tray. It's just a bar connected to a plate, and a waiter can end up putting drinks on here. It allows them to carry it a little lower. It gives them a little bit more stability. Our question is, if the waiter comes around a turn, what's going to happen to our drink that is on that tray? Here's what your quiz looks like. I'll hold that up for the camera right now. Feel free to pause. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and list your level of confidence. Typical student responses are really just one. Everyone feels that when you go around that turn, this drink is simply going to fly off and someone's going to get wet. So that's our typical student response. Try this. We're going to take our glass of water and I'll put it on here and I'll simply come around the bend and we'll see what happens. And as you can see, it stays on no problem at all. Now the students are not going to be that excited about this. Here's really what they want to know. They want to know, could you take that glass of water and end up going in a full circle? And they know they've seen this before using a bucket of water. Most people have done this at some point in their life. We know that the bottom of the bucket is going to end up keeping the water in that circle. But what about this table? Would it also work? Let's pause and see what you think. After some contemplation, most students will agree this can't be done. It's fundamentally different than a bucket. Look, when you have a bucket of water and you were to swirl this around, the bottom of the bucket is going to end up pushing in on the water, keeping it going in a circle, and then the sides of the bucket will keep it from going uh, you know, out of the side of the cup. So they realize that this is fundamentally different, and if you try to take this one around, it just wouldn't work. And of course, we just saw that it works just as well. There really is no difference between these. And a the way to think of that is I could simply put a little strap on each side of this cup and do the same thing. I would have made a bucket. But it does seem different. But that's just because of how our brains are interpreting this picture versus that picture. They're really the same thing. All right, that's your quiz for today. If you like what we're doing here at the Idealized Science Institute, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book, That'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long-form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.